Hi there, welcome to Richie Nest Year. Today's project is this chest of drawers we picked up. Saw it at the side of the road, it was put out to be thrown away. Liked the utilitarian look of it. When we've got it back and had a look at it, it's actually got solid oak fronts, properly dovetailed joints at the side. The drawers has got plywood bottoms and the construction, it's a frame and panel system. So we've got solid oak frames, oak veneered plywood. It was left out in the rain, so it's got some warping on it. Some lifting of finishes which we need to sort out. So the job today is to strip this down, see what we've got, do so any repairs that we need to do. When we've taken this apart what we have found is a maker's logo or what appears to be a maker's logo. What it actually says is CC41. Well CC41 means that it's dated from 1941 onwards and it's the utility logo which was a British board of trade requirement that had to appear on footwear, utility furniture, textiles and utility clothing. Uh, it had to appear on it for just over four years as per the 1941 Associated Press article C41 which meant com a controlled commodity and it's designated that the item met the government's austerity regulations. So obviously war era, limited resources, quick manufacturing etc. So that's what this piece is. It is a piece of utility furniture. So I'm hoping we can make this something special just by cleaning it up. We may put something on this top. We may put leather on it. I don't know yet. We've got that to decide. So the first job is get everything taken apart as best we can. Then you take these handles off etc. And start stripping everything down. Relatively straightforward construction. But quality construction I would say not necessarily a quality piece of furniture, but it's been built to last, which I suppose it has to, had to do for the era. Right, so let's get cracked on and get it stripped down. starting to break down the surfaces so that's looking like cest I would say it's just a case of making sure that we keep that wet and don't let it dry out but it certainly started to break the finish down so see how we go We're about 20 minutes in, so I'm going to start stripping this off. As you can see, it takes quite a, quite a fair chunk off. It may need doing again. We don't know yet. Well, I don't know yet, anyway. But as with any strip, it's just a case of scraping it off, see what we've got. Looks like I may possibly have to go again, looks like there's a second layer of finish on it, it's probably a little bit of staining or something like that, so...
never tried this before but I'm going to see if we can get rid of some get rid of the ink stains using bicarbonate of soda or baking soda now this is a milder way of doing it apparently oxalic acid is the best thing for getting rid of uh, stains uh, ink stains so having never tried it and not having any here I thought well let's look at some alternatives and this is one of the alternatives Wait 10 to 15 minutes and then just wipe off and repeat as necessary. Right, so that's interesting. The uh, baking soda looks like it's actually stained the oak, which is not good. So now I can't get that out, so I've got a choice now. Either stain the oak further, put more baking soda on it and get it all even. I wasn't aware that it was supposed to do that. I can't stand it anymore because it's already starting to break the veneer. Hmm. So yes, it's reduced the amount of ink, but whether I've not wiped it off properly or what, but the rest of the oak now is stained. It was probably better the way it was. So that's a lesson learned. So we may end up doing some covering the top with something because that's not good not good at all hmm interesting definitely interesting right I'm going to wing this a little bit I have no idea if this will work or not I'm kind of working on the principle that we might cover it anyway so I'm going to use some all fabric bleach into a bit of water what I am going to do is just go get some oh, bugger, some glasses just in case so I'm actually going to no, dissolve very well is it I'm going to brush that on where the stains are and we'll see if that makes any difference no idea, never done this before but I'll give it a go and see nothing ventured, nothing gained so just for what's left I think I'm going to duck the rest of it just to try and blend it in a bit wipe it off no idea how long you leave it on for I'm kind of thinking you don't want it on too long the moment I would say a little 
little bit longer on those. The near split, so I need to take some off that. With too much water on. So there we have it, one piece of 1940s controlled commodity set of drawers, all restored and completed. The mirror's got signs of wear on it, which is quite cool actually. With the mirror I've had to clean the back off and spray it with black paint to kind of get it repaired a little bit. Some of the backing paint were missing. Kind of come quite nice I think. A lovely sheen on it now. And that's just cleaning up, sealing with some hard wax and some thinners. 
and then just giving it a coat of polishing wax that's come out too bad at all so we'll probably use that ourselves swap that out for what we've already got drawers are all solid now yes it shows signs of age but that's what's quite cool about it job done